All right. Hey, folks. Uh, just got a new little sample here, just playing in the VR template, and I've added the uh, Hillside um, Habitat 67 photogrammetry sample, as well as a bunch of the buildings from the Matrix City sample and uh, some other fun little Easter eggy things to boot. So when you open this up, it's going to start in low quality. And if you don't believe me, you can test it because you'll see that there's actually no uh, lumen global illumination happening over there. I just want to get as many people to be able to open this as possible. So first thing you're going to want to do is start to toggle up the quality settings using the zero key until you have something that is um, still at an acceptable frame rate, but not killing you. So here I am at high quality and here I am at um, ultra quality. Is that ultra quality? Epic quality. I have one more setting above this, but it's kind of insane. This is good. This feels nice and sharp. Um, if you want to get more granular than this, the number keys um, one through nine are different pixel densities. So I can get like a little bit sharper than one if I want to. And this looks really good to me in VR right now. And it feels good. I've got a good frame rate for what it feels like. Um, if I want to see actual stats, I can press the um, uh, backslash key and that will give me some data there. And you can see that it says I'm only getting um, about 30 frames a second. Um, I could help that out a lot by bringing down my pixel density. But Space Warp is doing a pretty good job here of making everything still feel comfortable to me. So yeah, and of course, when I change uh, pixel density with one through nine, you're not seeing a change on the screen there because that is a change that is only affecting my view um, from within VR. So anyways, here we are, we got some reflections, we've got proper lumen stuff going on. Um, we've got our spectator camera, I could toggle to that if I wanted to and say hi there. Although I haven't really set up the spectator camera to have um, all the correct settings at the moment. But we've got a snap turn. Um, by default, I've got some teleportation. I've got a whole bunch of bounces going on. So you can just play with seeing how those eight bounces feel. Um, you know, and if you decide you want to venture outside of the world, of teleportation and start to deal with uh, the mirrors a little bit more because there's a whole bunch of mirrors that I've scattered around this project. It actually makes things kind of uh, delightfully confusing, I'd say. You can actually go into your menu here and you can toggle between teleport mode and fly mode. So if you're in fly mode now, you can just kind of, you know, still snap turn and whatnot, but move the um, controls around and just enjoy, you know, maybe a, a bit more of a bird's eye view of everything we have. But you know, the thing I mostly want to point out here is just that the frame rate feels really good to me. Mind you, <laughs> I am on an RTX 4090. But still something like this as of even 5.2 did not feel this smooth did not feel this good. And the ability to um, have these mirror reflections start to look a lot better now. So I don't have to think about toggling on real ray tracing. Um, that is super nice. Um, these buildings look great. I also have some debug modes in here. If you want to take a look at Nanite, you can do that with the N key. And that's a, a good way to figure out what is real geometry and what is mirror geometry, because you actually don't see the Nanite triangles if you are in a mirror mode. So I do this and I look to the mirror over here. That's not going to be visible if I go into Nanite, right? So that disappears. Um, I can also do Lumen with the L key if I just want to see what um, the world is seeing <laughs> from a Lumen perspective. Note that Nanite is visible in both eyes right now, but Lumen's doing some funky things. Um, I'll show you real quick what it actually looks like with spectator screen mode. There we go. So you can see the left eye looks fine. The right eye looks super, super crazy. So we'll go out of that. Something else fun here I thought we need to show you. Uh, we got two weapons here. Both of them have flashlights, nice little cookies in there. So you can just move around and see wonderful, you know, real time uh, lumen illumination doing its thing. Um, but I've also put different projectiles in each one. So in the right one, we've got some glowy balls and we can just kind of see how they are illuminating a scene. So that's all cool. Um, but yes, then the right, the left one, which for some reason um, is only firing with the right trigger. These are just chrome balls. And it's very cool if we kind of zoom in close here to see these real time reflections um, happening inside the chrome balls. And remember, I've got eight bounces in here. So we got some real time shadows, some real time glowing, some real time bounces. And that is not something that 
I had ever uh, thought would be possible in <laughs> 2023. So we're feeling pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, real-time lights, real-time shadows, real-time glowing, real-time reflections, um, all using Lumen and Nanite uh, in VR. So, you know, you can just kind of go around with <laughs> all sorts of stuff, doing whatever you want, follow the bouncing balls, and uh, and just enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Um, I hope this is interesting and useful. And um, if you'd like me to add any other features here, you know, an obvious one would be um, not loading all these things up top and, and maybe doing that a little bit more um, spaced out. Uh, happy to mess with this more to be helpful. So anyways, talk to you next time. And uh, oh, feel free to download this. I'll put the link below. It's uh, 20 gigabytes. And uh, maybe we'll get that down as well. But we're having a good time here.